couldn't go back anymore. But I remember a lot of students, a lot of scenes, you're specific. You know, it's like very specific. And you never get upset or frustrated with actors. You're very, very, not only given, but I think you're way, sometimes way too nice, Austin. <laughs> I, and I told you that, remember? Yeah, in a class, Austin, you're too nice yeah, yeah. to all of us. Why? What is it? You see, now I'm making you think. Now, in general, that's because often that's the way people learn to open up the most. Okay. Now, it's possible to do it the whole other way and be hard on them all the time. And if you're really good at that and you know how to do that as a teacher so that it's effective then that can be equally helpful to students. Right. But, you, but if, if you're going to take that tack of really being on people all the time and being right. harsh with them, you have to really know what you're doing when you do that. Right. Or it just is destructive. Right. Now, there are teachers who can do that so that it's not destructive. It can be harsh, harsh, and, uh, harsh and hard for the actor and painful even. But it, isn't dist it, but, but it somehow avoids being destructive. Right. But then there are other teachers and directors, happily there are no such people at HB, who are simply destructive. Right. And if you do that kind of destruction, it's irreversible. Right. you got to be you careful, know? too. Yeah. We're human beings. I love what you said, that you cannot treat actors the same way. Everybody's different. Everybody has yeah. a different process. Everybody that's, has that's a different right. instrument. That's right. So you have to be able to handle it and you have to try to figure out what is going wrong you can't just get mad because something's going wrong right you have to try to figure out what it is so you ask them questions mm -hmm. you try to figure out where they where they got lost mm -hmm. or what is blocking them what is keeping them from mm -hmm. from being able to to play the scene you know and to in fact and, and then also but you want to see a pattern. Mm -hmm. So often you encourage them, and you and and you uh, oh you give them a whole lot of different scenes to work on one after the other, mm -hmm. and you try to and you try to be encouraging so that they'll stay open as open as they can be. But then after a while, if they're open, you can begin to see the pattern of where they go wrong, and then you can start to get a little bit harsher. Right. Say, and, but that can take a year. Or you, more. Yeah, you can say, okay, I think I know where you always go wrong now. <laughs> but until you have seen a few things they've done, you have no way of knowing. Right. So you could say, I hated that. That was awful. That was unbelievable. And incidentally, I do occasionally talk like that to them. But I only talk like that to someone who's been a student for a while where I know who I'm dealing with. Right. And I know what the instrument is. Right. You see, when you're looking at me now, mm -hmm. it seems that you're taking an x-ray. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But right into my eyes, like yeah. you go so deep. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what you do with your students. I know you do. You really take a moment, like you observe them and you just into them 100%. And you can see the problem and you can fix it, Austin. Well, sometimes you can and sometimes you can. And sometimes you don't see the problem right. You don't. Or, or sometimes you see a problem that may have something to do with it, but it's not the real problem. It's not totally off the mark, but it's not the real one that is really causing the trouble. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's hidden under so many things. Right. And then you might get in, and, if, and when you finally do locate that, you might get into an area that you have to really proceed with care because it might be a real problem just inside the person, not just right. the actor. So you have to be really, it's like doing, I imagine, a certain kind of, a certain kind of surgery. Mm -hmm. You have to proceed with great care. Right. Or you can do that. a lot of damage. Yes. It, it's happened yeah. with people. Yeah. And, and the same thing as a director. Yeah. Now, as a director, sometimes you just lose your temper. You do. Yeah, you just say, I've told you two, 400 times now. <laughs> you're doing that thing that I told you not to do. Right. You can't do that. I, I, I can't. Just for your own good, I can't allow you to go out on stage and do that. Right. So every once in a while you say that, but then you have to alternate that with being encouraging. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful. I mean, I'm an actor myself, so I know. A master. Well, uh, sometimes, yeah. Not sometimes, Austin. Oh, you haven't no, seen no, no. everything I've no, no, seen. No, no, no. Talent like yours, yeah. I mean, honestly, talent like yours doesn't come around every single day. 
Yeah, but sometimes you have periods where somehow it all goes wrong. And and now 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 again, sometimes sometimes you have directors that are really harsh and that's great. It's just what you needed. Right. Sometimes you have directors who are harsh and that that's the worst thing that could have happened. Right. That's going to keep you from being able to get to whatever you need to get to. Other times being harsh a harsh director is going to help you get to it. Yes. But as I say, harshness person has to be a master at being harsh. Right. It's, um, if they are, then that can be treme tremendously helpful and effective. It hurts, but it can really be tremendously effective. What about the actor's studio? Have you gone lately to the studio? I haven't been to the studio in a while now. Oh, we miss you there. They need you there. Uh, of course we do. I just haven't had time, but, oh, but so I, love the time. I love Everybody it there. Oh, so you got to make the time. Everybody loves you there. I Everybody in that place loves you. Yes, when you became a member. Thank you, Charles. That's a very good question. When you became a member? Well, I, I, I went to help somebody else audition sometime in the mid-90s, uh -huh. and they took me. They did? Yeah. Oh. I, I think they took the person I helped also. Uh -huh. But they took me. But, but, but I was so involved with HP by that point. See, I, I, I wasn't even auditioning for the studio. I uh -huh. went as a helper. Right, right. A and, scene partner. Uh, yeah, right. Uh -huh. And uh, so I didn't, I didn't even think about whether I would get in or not. And um, I'd been in a play years before with that wonderful actress who's, who almost runs it now, Ellen Burstyn. Ellen Burstyn. In a production of Three Sisters, actually, oh, wow. which I acted in. Uh -huh. And she said something about, you've got to come over to the studio. But by this point, I was so entrenched at HP that I said, I will, I will. And of course, I mean, I take Ellen Burstyn very seriously. You should, yeah. Yeah, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Yeah. And... Um, but I, but I never got around to it, and then it was a few years after that that I went and helped that person audition. Wow. And then I got in. Now, any plays that you, that, any dream plays that you haven't directed that you would like to direct? I, I've never worked that way as a director. I, I usually just, I function well on assignments. Okay. You, you know, I don't like have a list of okay. plays I want to direct. Okay, but any play that you haven't directed, Austin, that you would like to direct? There's got to be one. There isn't one. Oh, God. Yeah, I just don't think that way. You don't think that way at all? No. How do you think? I think if somebody offers me a play to direct, I say, oh, I'd like to direct that play. Or I say, I don't think I'd like to direct that play. You go to it. Now, when yeah. you go home, are you obsessed with the work? Do you go through your notes a lot, or you don't like to go back? Like once you're done with rehearsals, that's it? I try to take it easy, but you, you can't always do that. Right. Sometimes if you have an intractable problem, uh -huh. you have to think about it. Uh -huh. Or maybe you have to meet somebody at night and talk about it, go out for a drink or something and mm -hmm. talk about it. But I, I think it, but, but it's most helpful if you can just go away from it because you come in the next day then all fresh. Right. You know. And besides acting, film and theater, what do you like? Austin, we got five minutes to go. I promise it's gonna be a like, very productive five minutes. I like all the. Happy birthday, Ginger Broderick, one of our crew. Yeah, happy birthday. Staff, she's happy my girl. Birthday. Happy yeah. happy birthday, baby girl. Yeah. Where were we? I, I like acting. I like directing. I like playwriting. I like um, teaching. I like my life. You like your life. Yeah. Movies, theater work. How often do you go to the theater? As often as I can, which isn't often enough. Okay. Next week, I'm going to see the new play by Tony Kushner. Okay. At the public. I can't wait public? for that. Who's in it? Oh, I have to talk to Jose to get oh, some tickets. Michael Christopher. A whole lot of good people are in it. Okay. But it's a, a new play by Tony Kushner. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I love Angels in America. Oh, oh fantastic. Isn't that a great, great, and he was, great and he, oh, he was the one masterpiece. He was the one who did the translation that you saw of us in Central Park of Mother Courage. He was the it was, one. It was his translation. Okay. And part of the power of that production was his translation. Mm -hmm. It was so alive and, and direct and accessible. And Edward Albee, I saw an interview with Edward Albee mm -hmm. not too long ago. He said that a good director is able to bring the playwright's words. A good director is able to transcript just exactly the written word without too much interference. I think that's right. Right? I do think that's right, yeah. Do you have to be able to just But every script needs to be it. transcribed in a certain way, and right. sometimes you have to find what that way is. Right. Like an approach you would use a director to bring alive the words of an Albie play 
would not be the same approach that you would uh, use to a play by Chekhov, say, or by um, uh, Tennessee Williams, or, you know, I mean, all of them, for all of them, the code is different. Yes. And sometimes you find it, and sometimes you don't. Your acting memory, Austin. Mm -hmm. I read about your mama, your mother. Yes. She was an actor. She was a professional actress, and then she married my dad, and then she joined the, the, the community theater in our town in Ohio. And she said that you were able to make a living as an actor, that she will be happy? She did say that. Right? Yes, yeah, she said you that. You did. Mm -hmm. yeah. You were pretty good at it. Just did what my mother said. Huh? I mean, it's like Austin, it takes more than talent and more than energy to be that good. I mean, it takes special instrument to be a good actor. Yeah. You, right? You, yeah, you have to have good teachers. You have to pay attention to them. Right. You have to... Um, you never studied with Lee Strasberg, right? No. I, yeah, I remember that you, you said that in the interview. Yeah, no, I didn't. I would you like didn't. to have, yes. but I didn't. Because I got onto Uta Hagen and Herbert right. Berghoff and to Robert Lewis. Right, Bobby Lewis, yes. Yeah, he was brilliant. Yes. So yes. the three of them were the big three for me. Right. John Strasberg? No, I, I, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I know him a bit, but I, but I. He's but pretty I serious. Yeah, oh, Austin. Oh I'm my sure God, he he's very tough too. I'm sure he is. Oof, I seen him in session once at the studio. Yeah. And he was right on it. He doesn't, you know. Yeah. Like tough, tough. That's but good. passionate, but that's good, Austin. Well, toughness, if it's accompanied by passion, right, is fantastic. Right. Toughness for its own sake doesn't mean anything. Right. But toughness harnessed to a real belief and a real passion is fantastic. Yes. Yeah. I can yeah. see you, the acting is your religion, is your life, It's Austin. my religion, it's my athletics, it's my everything. Everything. Yeah. What about your wife? I didn't know you were married. You broke no. my heart, but that's okay. I didn't, <laughs> I don't know how. Well, no, I, I mean in terms of, of my extracurricular life, it's my athletics, it's my religion. It's, it's everything, everything to yeah, you. Yeah, right. But I didn't know. I said, oh, all the girls I know, Angelica Thorne, one of my beautiful actresses, member of the studio, exquisite actor. We were talking about you right here five, six months ago. Every woman I know, every actor I know is in love with you. Austin, how your wife handles that? Does uh, she know? Well, it's a different kind of love. <laughs> well, 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 that's, it's very subjective. It's, it's, uh, it's, yeah. it's very, it's, women are drawn to you. I don't well, know if it's a cute smile. You were born the same day that I was born, March 27th? It's because I was born the same day that you not were born. Not the same year, though. But <laughs> <laughs> not the same year, no. Yeah. I'm so happy you came. Yeah. You see, time yeah. flew. Yeah. You see how fast? Yeah. What do you think? I think terrific. Right? It was a half hour show. Do you feel it was a half hour show? Yes, it was terrific. We're connected. Yeah. You and me. Mm -hmm. I loved you when I saw you in that play, Austin. Mm -hmm. And I said, I have to meet that man. And I went to audition for your class. Do you remember? Yes, very well. And remember when I told you? Yeah. Do you remember the words? You're not lying to me because you want to be good to me. You no, remember? No, I remember that at your audition. Yes. yes. Absolutely. And I expressed my admiration for yes, you. Yes. Of course, you're used to it because every woman I know, every actor I know is in love with you. <laughs> oh, Austin, if you're so good to relax. Are we done? Are we live? Are we okay? Are we here? Can we keep going for 10 minutes? Yeah, we're out. Austin, thank you so much for coming. Thank you.